All right. Uh, <laughs> guess we just jump right into it. <laughs> Please do. We'll play this for a bit. Kitchen. I don't know how long, and then after we'll play, um... Which I guess we could quick... We'll play this for a bit, then we can quickly do the DLCs for CBT with Yuka, and then we can play AI Dungeon. CBT with Yuka's really short. Probably like 10 minutes long. <laughs> Close beta test. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Ah, uh, what's our name? Um, uh... Cherno BT. <laughs> Cherno BT, I like it. Sure thing. Enter your last name. Ah, shit. You didn't think about it, did you? I did not think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> television. Ah, oh, it's too long. You can't fit television. There's a really strict character limit here. EV. Perfect. I don't know. Horrible name, but that's fine. <laughs> Zerno BVTV, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> that rolls right off the tongue. Powerful boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Alright. Do you want birds? Or do you want men? <laughs> I'm in. What do you think, Lily? Um, Thanks, Andima, for the birds. Birds? All right, birds, it is. Thank you, Andima, for the two years. I appreciate it. God, it'd be so fucking weird. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. As ready as I'll ever be. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. The school is Japan's. No, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. <laughs> I'm often hi, asked. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? I said hi, Mara. Hi, Mara. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. I don't know who this is. I guess we'll see who they Not are. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. I was gonna be literally all. Is is your character a dude or a chick in this? Your character is Cherno BV's DV. I don't know. That's true. Thanks, Z Man. Infinity for the bits. Ryota. Oh my god, this is already ridiculous. Usually, you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Zono BD. <laughs> Overslept. This is a pompous bird. Ryota Kawara. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Am I a bird? <laughs> no. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Oh man, you're gonna chew up some worms and then puke in my mouth? Hell yeah, I'm in. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! 
<laughs> no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. That's a lot of points, Vile Elf. Holy shit. Oh, look at how handsome, cute, nice those birds are. You could date all of those birds. I can't wait. <laughs> I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Be... Okay. <laughs> uh, I am Nanaki Kazu... Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Zzz. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. <laughs> what type of bird is this? This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously so soporific math professor. Soporific? I don't know. I'd heard the rumors, sober. but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Oh, it's a guy? They're all guys. <laughs> all, the, all the birds in this game are dudes. We're dating male birds. This goes to show great minds come in all forms. There's one girl out there. Oh, is there? Hell yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. Oh my god, he's... Er, <clears throat> beautiful. What is the point? <laughs> Elegant. I have no wish to speak of commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. <laughs> but he doesn't want to introduce himself. We can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Dissenters. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? Hmm. Shirogane LaBelle, Sakia. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It seems this fantail is Shirogane Sakia. His feathers would make any birdie proud. Birdie. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Would you say that his eyes are flipping you the bird? I'm leaving, bye. Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me. I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything to do with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. Maybe we should switch places. Maybe I should be his journal BVTV. Yeah, sure. I'd be okay with that. 
<laughs> glasses at the... <laughs> Can you fill shoes as large as mine? <laughs> no. He glances at the like desk. Size 14s. That's true. You know what they say about dudes with big feet? <laughs> Socks. Exactly. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh. Did, did you want to be Zerno BV? Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Uh. <laughs> he silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm TV Zerno BV. <laughs> Sophomore, what about you? <laughs> Your <laughs> Nageki Fujishiro Nageki Freshman He's just so cool and unique He is Fujisho Nageki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dub, but he seems a little sad Leave me alone He's reading his book again Sorry, can you, like, skip me for a second? I have to talk to someone. I have no problem. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh, shit. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years... My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, that's... Now, I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, uh -huh, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. But that there wasn't too cool. The fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. Confirmed girl. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. Your Zerno BV, right? TV, Zerno BV. How did you? I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakia's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. Hello, Reuben Sandwich. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. CBT with Yuka Kazami. Patchouli knowledge's surprise. Thank you, Sachiko Finger. 
who I can only assume is one person in the chat. Uh, did it install already? I don't know, is it launching it? I don't want to play it yet. Okay, I think it's just installing. Oh, shit, BRB. My cake has arrived. Cake, cake, cake. Greetings. Allow me Greetings. to show it to you, chat. Where is my webcam? Where is your webcam? I don't know, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the other cam. There I am. Hello. Cake. Don't drop it. All right. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay. Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Oh, that Ryota. Always getting sick. Excuse me. No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. That's that's so weird to read. No birdie. No birdie. Ryota. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. Bye. No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Well, they got all kinds of drugs in here. Well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're lucky. <laughs> Apple par, trife, Lucille benzene. What do these even do? Uh... Care to find out? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, 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 the doctor? Doctor's fucking chonky. Look at <laughs> the ball. 
I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm. No, thank you. <laughs> Jesus, look at him. This part. Par <laughs> this partridge's Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Every birdie knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with asper, aspergillus psychosis or even worse things. Oh, same. Yeah, and I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? Oh no, you, I'm sure you heard him. No, look at him. Fortnite streamer. <laughs> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota... Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. I'm just trying to get like, my perfect fat voice for this guy. Like, what are you like, telling me about that is? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he come find me before going home? What is this fucking Christmas music? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. I guess it's because he's a partridge, but come on. <laughs> ah, finally out of that den of evil. Rota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. Chat, how long is this game? There's like no way I'm finishing it, but I'm just, I'm really curious. <laughs> Long, isn't it? Apparently, it's longer than Metal Gear Solid. I don't believe that. <laughs> I just remember one of them has a motorcycle. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's badass. It's bird ass. Bird ass. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. <laughs> I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side. Hey, Sea King. Happy Valentine's Day. A white dove is hanging... Not hanging a tantrum. Having a tantrum outside. <laughs> Ooh, it's San. Oh, can I be San? You can absolutely be San. Cool! This is no pudding for a man. <laughs> Koo! Koo! <laughs> Okasan rejects it. It is a lie. A vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. <laughs> hey, that's not very nice of a pudding. <laughs> no, it's happening in this game. I'm so confused. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I th think. Either way, he's hyper. Oh! <laughs> Heavy rain, I'm a big fan. Okosan yeah. has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Ah, uh, chat, you should know of this streamer. There's a Korean streamer by the name of Heavy Rainism. He has, like, a little bird avatar. And he never actually speaks words. His entire commentary is just varying degrees of going, Hoo! Hoo! <laughs> And it's amazing. The dude gets, like, 2,000 viewers every night. And all he does is go, like, Hoo! <laughs> It's so good. He even, like, he plays team games with other people. And they'll be like speaking in Korean and he'll just be like, Hoo! <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> he sticks to it hard. <laughs> it's twitch.tv forward slash heavy rainism. All one word. He's so good. <laughs> yeah, I love watching him at night. Go! Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. 
trail? Akasan <laughs> <laughs> instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Ooh. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with her? Ooh! Ooh! Spare the jests, young lady. Okosan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> ah! They'll rue the day they crossed Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Ooh. Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell! Thank you, Ralph, over the 43 months. Appreciate it. Shroom! <laughs> and he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. Man, this cake is fucking bop. How's your cheesecake? Yeah, it tastes tasty. Nice. It tastes tasty. <laughs> all right, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. Yeah, sure, Sea King, why not? If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Go. Hold on. Um. Focus on only has time for cake. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's good. What about you, Shirogane? Foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism. Oh, that's you. Sorry. Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? <laughs> that one's also you. Oh. I'm just gonna just do it enough for me. You have to take, you have to take care of oh, your mother I on your own keep and forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Oh man, what are we joining? Uh, who do you want to get closer to? Um... The sand. He's, okay, He's an team. option. Yeah. Crack team. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Hell yeah, we run in. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend? That was so long. Yeah, it is. Attend <laughs> your perfect math class, you elite. All right, math it is. Mr. Nan Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual. The class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Ba -ba. Ba -da. Derno BB leveled up. Hooray! I'm smart. Hooray. I need to go sign up for track. I want to join the team, but I wonder if Oko-san's having a fit again. I'll find out when I get there. When I get there, bud. Cool. A Zerno BV appears. Is this a challenge then? Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. The fit he is having, though not over pudding. Not really. I want to join the team. Do you know where the captain is? Cool. He stands before you. Okosan is the captain, and a faster bird the world has never known. I never knew. I never knew. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here, my forms. Thank you. Cool. 
A dove never refuses a challenge. Commence the entrance examination. There's an exam? You have to write whatever yeah. you were mad about in gym class? <laughs> write, a, write a goddamn essay. Yeah, of course. Track isn't daisy chain making, missy. Oko-san will be your opponent in noble combat. Sprint or long distance? Um... What are you faster at? Uh, sprinting. Go! Humph. A sprint barely lasts long enough to get started. How dull. Go! On your go. mark. Get set. Go! Can't even fly this fast. Fly this fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobtron, what's up? I know F Cloud, right? Uh, uh. Cool. You're still weak, but you've got potential. Welcome to the team. Thanks. Nice. Can we date now? Cool. That's all, folks. Wow, what a short game. <laughs> and so I joined the track team. Who knew doves could run like that? Ah, uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. In my goddamn cave. Oh! Tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Chat. Hi, chat. Hello there, chat. Happy anime waifu day. Sincerely, pigeon game. Oz are gonna talk to Sam. That's right, treat yourself. Don't subscribe to Churn Television. Subscribe to yourself today. Focus on your needs. And your need is the need to sub to me. No. <laughs> Oh. Thanks <laughs> for the 79 months brag. Appreciate it. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here. The pudding is not here. Is this nap if she was a bird? Yeah, I think this is nap. <laughs> ah. ah. It's missing. Did you bring it to the eat for lunch? Thank you, Cold Ass Fashion, for gifting a sub to Andrew Tencho. Um, coo? <laughs> coo coo coo. No. Oko-san yeah. believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Coo! Oko-san will now search elsewhere for pudding. Vroom. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Oh, all right, that's enough food for today. Between the red Thank lobster and that cake, I am beyond stuffed. He's a full. Full boy. Today's an elective day, what should I do? This is a very comfy game. It is. But is it too comfy? Let's go to the gym. It's too hot. I feel like I'm gonna have a stroke. It is rehydration time. Okosan wants to go swimming. Alright. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, Chad, it's Valentine's Day. You know what that means? Pink Kappa check. Is it 
pink day? Or are you just saying that? I'm just saying that. <laughs> I'm literally lying. It's not a thing. <laughs> I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festivals... Oh, that's you. Sports festival season already? <laughs> I don't know what he sounds like. If it were, if it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been me. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I'm gonna talk to myself. I haven't decided. <laughs> yeah. but Maybe I'll take <laughs> over Ryota. Like Some birdie has to. <laughs> Oko-san will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. What about you, Sophia? Can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well. Leave it to me. Also, the first aid team is always short-handed, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can't decide. That's all for today. Roach is doing the three-legged race, Oko-san's running the marathon, and Saki is a cheerleader. Kuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Nothing. Today is the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... <laughs> Obviously the cheerleaders. Something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Saku and a brass band. That's overdoing it. That explains. <laughs> I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here! You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a label. A label. Horn. This is not complete, sir. Ooh, ooh, I don't know what tuba sounds like. <laughs> the order, sir. Thank you, Zender, for the 51 months. I appreciate it. Very well. Begin. And so the band began to play. There's all these references. I feel like you would know what a tuba sounds like. References everywhere. Where did he get oh, these? Man, really? No. Oh. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> <laughs> My sister was. <laughs> oh. You played Same. the clarinet and got carpal tunnel, but I did. Oh my god, I played clarinet. Did you also get carpal tunnel? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> My fingers didn't, uh, like, they were too small. Oh. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You, join in. Um. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. <laughs> Symbol Miku. Put wrong slip and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes! Lucky is conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? I guess so. That was it. I guess so, yeah. First barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. Wait, already? <laughs> We're getting them back today. I, uh, I don't think I did too well. <laughs> TV! <laughs> yes! <laughs> hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too... Mm, nope. Sorry. You did 
badly. Come back when you're a little, mmm, smarter. No. <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? A disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. Mm. <laughs> 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 With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya! What's going on? Why do I sound different in my head? <laughs> uh, so Salut I don't know, voice, voices are hard. Salutations, Zertle BB. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. 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 He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. Pew. I think I've heard the name, but... He's kind of trad. Oh, he's so beautiful. Look at him. Wow, he's so exciting. Ah. He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggest suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. <laughs> Makes a real genius to discover that, I guess. It does. I'm willing to bet that the devs of this game just went out to their parking lot and took half the pigeon picks, probably. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. I'm, I'm doing it. Brian Pigeon. Found him. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> When did this game come out? Oh, years ago. I'll quickly check. I'll look on my phone so I don't have to keep minimizing the game. Uh, Hattiful Boyfriend Release Date. It came out July 31st, 2011. Holy shit. That's older than I thought it was. 10 years old this year. Uh-oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Zernobibi. TV Zernobibi. <laughs> That's <was> so good. <laughs> Somebody had that Brian Pigeon account two years before this game released. That's amazing. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. What would you like to do, Lily? Cafeteria. Pretty it sounds good. It's food time. Get some bird feed. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. Excuse me. One half dead fried rice, please. <laughs> Yum. My favorite. Cool! No, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. Oh no, it's the pudding again. A familiar voice indeed. This is not pudding! I really wish I could just color him purple. I know, he said, so come on, let's eat outside. We can't horse around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Sam saw the pudding here and went, nyah! Oh, nyah. 
I stopped him from going on a rampage, but ow, cut it out, Okasan. <laughs> <Go! laughs> Release me at once, my rage voltage is rising. Help me, Zerno PV. Um. What do you think? Uh, leave it to me. Alrighty. Leave it to me, Ryota. My hunter gathers blood boils. Ah! <laughs> cool! No, the Beast Queen shows her true colors. Pull out! Pull out! <laughs> Okosan rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Safe at last. Thanks, Zerno BB. No problem. All I did was shout at him, anyways. Apparently, that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. Hell yeah! Today is an elective day. What should I do? And hello there, Big Deck. Yeah, I'll play this for like another 30 or an hour, and then we'll play the DLC for CBT with Yuka. And then we'll we'll cap everything off with some AI dungeon. Gonna try to make it as Valentine's themed as possible without straight up making it sex. Are we going multiplayer, or do you want to do single player and I draw it? Uh, can we do a round of both? Sure. This is our... I, I, yeah, I want to do both. <laughs> They're both fun. Math class, gym class, music class. All right, chat, your turn to pick. Three, this isn't Galgun. <laughs> All right, math. I guess it's because of the fairiness. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Ooh. Now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this math class or nap time? I don't know about you guys, but my nap time was always social studies. teacher just always put on a movie, turned the lights off, and went to the back of the class to mark tests. <laughs> Got a lot of sleep in there. It's probably a bamboo tree in the pla in the plaza this year too, I think. I think oh, I'm gonna I make forgot you live in a cave. Yep. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely cave. Oh, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better, Yota. Wait, I heard if you read those, they don't come true. Well, you've just killed it. Fuck. <laughs> Impos Impossible in this part, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna butcher the hell out of that. <laughs> that one's cute. It's just art. What should I wish for? Oh, this one ours. Hmm. These are all very good choices. Conquer the world by force, rule the world from the shadows, or become a famous artist. Well, what do you want to do? I want to conquer the world by they force. They like the same thing. <laughs> they do, yeah. One's just more forceful than the other. I wish to crush, oh, all... I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. Iron. Oh, hello. Is that you, TV? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nanaki! You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um. Uh. No, thank you. 
Yeah, let's see what happens. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. Oh, uh, well, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the Key Mania 2DX public playtest play starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Isn't that the game you like? Yep. Maybe? Beat Mania 2DX. Every day is an elective day. Who with 7 Eleven? Shout outs. Let's go math again. <laughs> We're gonna use it tomorrow. Sir, how will integral, integ integral calculus help us in life? Integral? I never integral. learned whatever the hell that is. Integral? Integral? Yeah, all those are probably right. <laughs> yeah. Hard to say. It might never help you at all, TV. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Ooh. Mm, yum. Integral calculus is educational candy. I'm not prepared to accept this. It's the antiderivative which helps you find the area. Oh, I see. And yeah, what excuse him, Maymay said at Corvier. Sorry, I missed that. You want to do the pigeons and I do all of those? Yeah, I'd be okay with that. We get our final stack today. I'm not sure I did too well. TV! Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success! Nice. Good job. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Time flies in Birdland. Sometimes it seems long and sometimes it seems short. But either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club room. And check the summer schedule before I go home. To the trap club! Did I hear that right? <laughs> what did I say? I heard trap. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong then. <laughs> Never mind. Just double checking. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. Look, the song looks... looks excited. Oh, right, 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 right. Not angry for once, but still, this is. Ah! What are you doing? The floor is covered in beans! <laughs> Why is it covered in beans? <laughs> munch, munch. They're good. <laughs> Looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Huh. Should I scold him or join in? I think you should join in. I'm gonna join in. You know, those beans. Those look pretty good. Mush, mush, yum. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. Holy shit. That's a lot of food. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life. So maybe I'll go running today. God, I want to see a bird run. <laughs> Assuming she is a bird and not a I human. I black out a lot as I run. <laughs> Apparently destroyed that building, too. And it turned nighttime. Into daytime. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start <clears throat> vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Hmm. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey. You. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Bird is intense. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? 
Pharaoh stands next to me, winking up at my face. Oh, it's oh the shit! Snake. It's the, the one you mentioned. One. Yeah. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks a little bit vintage. How cute! I feel a strange pressure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. <laughs> um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nation. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there. You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating Sparrow Josh is at a scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Call me Azami. Well then, thank you, Azami. She seems cool. I like her. Hmm. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's has a far-off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul! The speed limit for scooters <laughs> is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. 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 Isn't riding tandem <laughs> against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. I'm not a bird. Oh. So wait, she's just a human that lives in a cave? Yeah. Oh. I was wondering about that. <laughs> Get more confused as the minutes go by. And so we putted along at Azumi's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Yeah, we need to get an actual house. It's still a long time until the semester starts. And I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have a chance. I'll... Get a job or forget about it. Uh, what do you think, chat? We get a job, we're gonna forget about it. We're gonna just be lazy and live in a cave forever. Live in a cave for the rest of our lives. Get a job, okay. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was a cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. It is nice. Oh my. <gasps> Look at that bird. Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. You could come back at noon. Oh, sorry. I was here to ask about the job. The, pro uh, the proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I am called Urushihara Kenzaburo Raru. <laughs> I'm the owner of Torimi Cafe. I'm TV Zerno Baby! God, that introduction. He's a bit of work. 
Welcome, Miss Zerno BV. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. <laughs> I shall be relying on you for this summer, then, Miss Zerno BV. It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> tomorrow, then, Miss Zerno BV. Congratulations, you're hired. Yay! Today's my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. No, that's a mistake, because then they're going to expect it all the time now. Good morning, Miss Zerno BV. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. There's a window... <laughs> window and a tree. tree the up. shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy. So I'll be able to remember it all. Are they playing Christmas music? It's Christmas. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's fucking Ryota. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and... Ryota? Zerno BV, well, what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Zerno BV? Oh yes, this is Ryota. You came for the job too, Ryota? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already gotten the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Urushihara, could you use two people? Hmm... Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... Do the job I was hired for. Yeah, no, fuck Ryota. Um, I'm sorry, Yoda, but I really want to do this. He already has a job. Is he a job hog? Don't worry about it, Zerno BV. I've got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Zerno BV. Zibv. <laughs> Zibv. After almost opening time, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking a deal with Yoda. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. <gasps> who is it? Oh, hello, you are very yellow. Y'all get a new girl? A human? A the fuck is it? A, a bajurgar. <laughs> bajurgar steps in the door. That sounds right. First customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for some. <laughs> I was hoping for some <laughs> pony who'd raise a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. <laughs> Welcome. Would you like a bath or a meal? Or me? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Oh, Aw, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Kanzab Buro. Hey, wait just a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Zernovivi, a regular customer. I'm something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what? Well, yeah. What was with that when I came in? I wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kansai diet accent since I was a little girl. 
Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true, and I can die happy. What a what a nice little dream. You all lost me on the road. Dreams. <laughs> you all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Colonel BB Rat, that seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. Wait, who's who? I'm confused. <laughs> a, new, a new encounter in the little bird cage. Today is a good day. I just forget which bird is which. I, I blanked <laughs> for a second. Oh, Rabu is it? Rabu, Rabu, Rabu. I shall make okay. some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Yum. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Ring. Nice piano. I stayed out on the town for too long, and it's late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. Oh, look at this badass. What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to St. Pigeonations, <laughs> don't you? Punction. <laughs> I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. Ugh. Darn it, I... I can't tell them apart! <laughs> I can pick Ryota out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves have just met all look the same! Wow. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away! Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. They buff up their chest threateningly. Dumb punks! Kicking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little... They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming. Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Now you're dead. Thud! Ugh. The work of a moment. Some birdie flits forward in the blink of an eye of a dozer <laughs> knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. <laughs> Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... A zombie! What's up? That was close, Zerno BV. Are you sure you should be out this late? What the F? Who are you? Me? Well, I'm a passing takoyaki lady. T takoyaki, don't screw with us. They're stubborn. Here they come. We're not gonna take this from a finch and a human. Take this! Yeah! Ugh. Not done yet, huh? I'll teach you chicks a lesson. Sparrow kick! So, so cool! Your sparrow kick is so cool, Azana! Don't relax just yet. This is where the real fight starts. Azana. Fluttering and magnificent and under the glow of the neon lights. Huh, and me, gleefully punching the daylights out of the punctions. Ugh. Fighting back to back, now that's trust. Nice. <laughs> Today's a local summer festival. <laughs> Something else happened, who cares? I think I'll go with somebody. <laughs> Invite. At least get a tarp for your cave entrance, come on. Who do I invite? Ryota, Sakia, Nagi, Her. San, of course. <laughs> oh, yes. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you will take Oko san to a wonderful place? Yep. Today's the summer festival. Let's go together. Cool! Oko san smells excellent things. Oko san's excitement is almost at maximum. 
There's lots of good food. More than we could ever try. Cool. Perhaps even pudding. Well, probably not. I've never seen a stand selling pudding. Oh look, fireworks are starting. Ah! Aren't they pretty, Oko-san? Oko-san? Cool. 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 No, he's lost himself to the shining lights and returned to his feral ancestry. Guys unhinged. Calm down, Oko-san. Calm down. Cool. I'm sure it flies when I'm in here. Lost my accent. <laughs> See y'all around, Kenza Buro. Oh. Hey, Zerno BV. Eh? Robin, finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of a day, gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's... the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. Werther's so original. So young men from Osaka can do it too. See y'all around. Oh. Good day to you, Rabu. There will be CBT in 10 minutes, Razor. I think it's time to close up. Would you care for something, Zerno BB? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any tonji do left? Of course. Whatever the fuck that is, here you are. Oh. Huh. That cup is pretty rad. Mmm. Told you to, from a fancy cup is the best. Mmm. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Urushihara? Yes? Mr. Brabu comes here every day, right? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? A chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. He likes to come here to relax before work. A bajurger works <laughs> at night. A budgie. There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the time to go wild behind the wheel. Wait a second. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Haven't I met another careful driver recently? Cherno Television? Oh, definitely not me. <laughs> One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place, but not my best friend who I stole it from. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Miss Zerno BB. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer. Maybe. Y'all retiring early? Miss Zerno BB is a student, and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Ugh. Ooh. That was some emo emotional change there. <laughs> Question mark. Happy face. Doing the last half in one week. I reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely without here without you, Zernal BV. At least Ken Zaburo ain't going anywhere. Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in a city, an island of soothing parakeet and a sea of urban life. Kind of a pity that so few people come in. So few people come in. Because piano gets so randomly loud. <laughs> Oh my god. Hi. Hi. 
Can't exactly refuse an invitation for my sweet little protege now, can I? I almost read that as pierogi. <laughs> when did I become your pro pierogi? Okay, <laughs> Yay! Have a seat, please. Uh, Azami, is that you? Her, oh. Her expression suddenly hardens. Feels like the cafe is going to burst. Oh no, bird tension. It feels like one of those scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss, just before the bullets start flying. Do, do you know each other? You might, you might say that. You disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Left us all behind, have you? Zombie, I... How do you think I've felt these past six months? She looks ready to... Oh. She looks ready to fly at him, at him at any moment. Um, Azami? I don't know what's happened between you two, but Mr. Rabu is a nice man now. He drives cars and gives out candy. <laughs> I turn a TV. Please forgive him. Stay out of this, kid. It doesn't concern you. What what happened, Mr. Rabu? I've never seen her this mad. It's funny you calling yourself Rabu. What the f <laughs> what? <laughs> I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. You used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then. There wasn't a bird on the night roads that didn't know the name of Hosokawa Blaster. Carve it into your souls. When we stand together, ain't no birdie gonna hold us back. I was young then. Every one of us hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. And we all knew we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. <laughs> <laughs> what a weak ass biker gang! <laughs> the new biker gangs obey traffic laws. Exactly. <laughs> you don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law when you ride. You ride on the inside. Thank you, High Noble, for the three years. Appreciate it. You are pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with the soul, as wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero. But a hero doesn't run away. And you did. As soon as I confessed to you, you were gone. Don't want the gang feels. On to the love story. Zombie, I can tell I've hurt you. I'm sorry. But tension crackles in the air. Ksha. Like sick tar. Only <laughs> Mr. Kurishimaru <laughs> remains exactly as he was when it all started, slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. So, Mr. Robin used to be a biker name. In his real state? His name is Kosokawa Blaster. This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. Wait. Haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake and you look like Mr. Fava Bean. Whoa. Whoa. But Mr. Fava Bean? <laughs> this? He looks like handsome Squidward now. So well. I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. At this rate, Mr. Bobby won't be able to get a word in edgewise. 
Has she really stopped loving Mr. Fava Bean? <laughs> Mr. Fava Bean. <laughs> I should bring up... Fava Beans? A zombies. Duh. Scooter. Zombie, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, Zerno BB? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it. Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. <gasps> when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that. She loves him. I'm sure of it. Is that how you express that? love? Writing names on vehicles? Yeah, writing Miku and... <laughs> you still like Miku. Mr. Kava being right, Ozumi? Wait, why the hell am I spending Valentine's Day here? I could be in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you later, chat. Uh, Zerno BB. My name isn't... I saw it with my own two eyes! When you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. <laughs> You're pretty sharp for a human, kid. She's right. I haven't forgotten you. What a sad story. You left without even saying no. And I'm still chasing your shadow. Zombie, I... Trying to sympathize with me? No thanks. I've had enough of that. You threw me away. There's nothing that can change that. No, Azami, listen to me. I never threw you away, I... I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads, but would I be a good father? Think about it, any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that. Yes, but... Is the hero of a Midnight Rider really supposed to be that timid? I sat down and I thought. I had to go straight. Could have made you happy. Couldn't have made you happy like that. You. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you when I'd save money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billiken said, our souls are being tested even now. Osokawa Blaster. Your eyes look like they did back then. <laughs> A zombie. Enough girl talk. <laughs> Marry me! Of course! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> okay. Right. Hooray! They, they what a did way it. to end it. <laughs> oh, no, it's not over yet. yet. Stop the credits. <laughs> I mean, that was honestly a perfect ending. That was a perfect ending. This is totally not the story of my romance. It's theirs. I live here. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Who did that? Gee. That was kind of amazing, Mr. Urushihara. Yes, a little excitement here and there isn't a bad thing. Such things just make our lives richer. My name's not Richard. Whatever, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt it is. Yeah, see, it's Richard. Oh, okay. Well, then a few more hours until we close, Miss Zerno BV. Yes, sir. Those who want to see others, those who want to be seen, a soothing nick of all such people. Eating some ass cream. Ding, 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 ding. Whoops. No, no, it's not- no, that, no, that's not- I thought that was a menu button. I wanted to save. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I said the this, game this, isn't over yet. I just wanted to save. But it is over, it's CBT time. I knew I should have gotten the CBT before I woke up. <laughs>